everyone, uh, Periscope World. I wanted to show you how um, my tomato sauce looks um, now that I'm canning my very first batch of it this whoop, uh, this season. Um, so I made this tomato sauce um, using a recipe from Liana Krisoff's stop um, book, canning for the, canning for a new generation. Let go, let go. And um, this is the all-purpose tomato sauce. And yeah, I think it turned out awesome so far. And I'm just steaming up my little kitchen here. And I thought I would uh, hop on Periscope and say good evening. And I hope everyone had an awesome Friday or weekend. Sunday, Jenny, silly. Um, and I also thought maybe if there were some uh, souls out there who have never seen anyone can anything, I thought maybe you could just see what it was all about. So I just ladled um, the sauce into the piping hot jars, and now I have a magnetic doodad grabbing the hot lids and rings out of a saucepan of hot water. Whoop. And um, yeah, just set it on top and screwing the lids on fingertip tight, which means not crazy, crazy tight. You don't have to get super strong, but whew, God, that's hot. Um, but just kind of tight is what you're going for. As tight as you can do with your fingers. And then I'm using my tongs to sink it into the water bath of boiling water. And then I use my tongs to grab another jar. So this jar is piping hot, of course. It's my handy funnel. And ladle the hot sauce. Let me, sorry, let me adjust it so you can see a little bit better. Oh, sorry. Don't get car sick. Periscope. Um, so yeah, so those are my little jars. It's piping hot. Water bath canning is pretty much, you get your jars boiling hot and your food boiling hot. You put the hot food in the hot jars and screw the lids on and then submerge in boiling water for a specified amount of time. And then as if by magic, uh, a vacuum seal is created with these handy guys and then your food is preserved. That's, that's canning in a, in a nutshell. And it's pretty, pretty awesome stuff. Um, and, uh, hotter than heck. So my jars are getting kind of snug, it seems, in my pot. So I'm going to pull out one and then put this one in. Okay. Now there's plenty of room now. Hopefully you can't tell how shamefully dirty my uh, kitchen is, but <laughs> that's canning, I guess. And I haven't um, posted a blog post on my blog, adomesticwildflower.com, about canning yet because canning season has just started. So um, up until now, I've just posted about sewing and some cleaning stuff and other domestic uh, pursuits, but no canning yet, even though I say all over the internet that I'm a canning blogger, I just haven't, we haven't got the canning season yet. So here we are in canning season, sweating like nobody's business in this tiny kitchen of mine. Hot. Okay. Okay. Fingertip tight. A lot of whistling and cussing and canning. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull that one out first. There's room. There's more room, rather. I'll take this over to the sink. Okay. You don't ever want to let your jars uh, 
get cool or all that cool at all, um, it's pretty important that everything stay really hot. Mostly because you don't want the glass to crack. Not necessarily for the germ factor, but for the for the glass cracking factor. So I'm getting close to having this whole thing emptied. There we go. This is a pretty good spot for my little tripod. Okay. So you can see some pieces of onions and garlic. It's a very simple recipe from that wonderful book, uh, Canning for a New Generation by Leanna Kristoff. And look at that. It worked out to have exactly five jars. Oop. Sun, no thank you. Okay, now we're cooking. No pun intended. Um, I guess it's not a pun. No, uh, no word, word play intended. Okay, got one more little set of living rings. No, sun, no, no. Sorry, my toe was there. Okay, fingertip tight. And we're ready to sink the jars. Okay. Okay. Um, Hey Periscope, um, if you're just joining, um, my name is Jenny and I blog at a domesticwildflower.com. I'm setting my microwave timer for 35 minutes because we're canning tomatoes. And let me flip you around so you can see. This is my water bath canning setup. And um, yeah, so it's just boiling water and there's over an inch of water covering the tops of the jars. And um, I don't have a jar lifter because my kitchen is microscopic and I, to have a jar lifter, I'd have to have one of those really big enamelware canning pots. And I do have one, but I don't use it all that often because it's hard to fit in this teeny tiny kitchen. So anyway, I have all five, all five jars processing. That means um, they're in this water bath and they'll be in it for 35 minutes because that's the amount of time it takes for the internal temperature to reach. Oh, I think it's 212 degrees, but don't quote me on that. But anyway, um, when the timer goes off, I'll turn the heat off and use the tongs to slowly and carefully pull the jars out of the water and rest them on a towel on my countertop. And then over the next 24 hours, each of those little lids will suck down and a vacuum seal will be created. So yeah, so that's my tomato canning. Um, my first tomato canning of the year so far. Um, and I hope that you readers and viewers out there, oh, thank you for the hearts, friends. Um, I hope that you join me um, next time I'm steaming up my kitchen. And if this is um, something that melts your butter, head over to ajomesticwildflower.com and check me out there. Okay, have a great night.